How to design an Indian courtyard house? When it comes to learning about it, there is a great master Bijoy Jain. Bijoy Jain is the founder of Studio Mumbai. One of his most notable projects is the Copper House, designed in 2011. This house is located in Chondi, a village in Maharashtra. Bijojan incorporated traditional Indian architecture principles using the courtyard as a central element of the design. His architectural style emphasizes the in-between spaces, focusing on the interplay of open areas within the house. The use of materials and craftsmanship is always crucial in Bijoy's work, reflecting his commitment to creating architecture that is both grounded and innovative. At his studio Mumbai, the design process is very unique. Instead of relying solely on the drawings, the team works extensively with the architecture models and sketches. Craftsmen and artists collaborate closely in the office, contributing to the tangible and hands-on approach that defines Bijoy's project. The Copper House exemplifies how simple geometry can be transferred into elegant living spaces. Surrounded by trees and located near a river, the house integrates seamlessly with the natural environment. The first stage of constructing the copper house was involved digging a well, as water and its relationship with the built environment are central theme of Vijay's architecture. The excavated soil was used to create the main plinth of the house, involving local craftsmen in the process. The house is camouflaged with the lush landscape, featuring a water pool, a lotus pond, and numerous trees. A bridge over the lotus pond leads to the entrance, enhancing the connection with the nature. Situated amidst a dense grove of mango trees near a brook that floods during the monsoon, the house is a beautiful example of nature and architecture. The open-air courtyard at the center is paved with a black basalt stone, facilitating rainwater drainage beneath the house. On the ground floor, large horizontal windows are covered with slatted ironwood and copper mesh, providing both camouflage and view from the living spaces. The upper floor, with its boxy spaces, including a master bedroom, study, and a smaller bedroom, thin copper sheets covers the upper floor, which will develop a wet degrees over time, further blending the house into its surroundings. Bijoy Jain's architecture style is marked by the continuous experimentation. In Copper House, he blended a copper roof with concrete walls and wooden jali screens to provide natural cross ventilation. This thoughtful integration of materials and the emphasis on craftsmanship and open space makes Bijoy Jain's architecture truly unique and inspiring. Let's try to learn the architecture scheme of the house. The entrance of the house is at the one end of the site. While entering the house, we pass to the lotus pond and the stone paving. One side of the house has a car parking area, and the other side has the entrance view of the house. In between the site, Bijoy added various water ponds and a water pool and a well. Climate is always the crucial element of Bijoy's work. The courtyard house provides passive ventilation and natural light. This house has two floors, and the top floor is constructed with the copper sheets, which is why it is named the Copper House. If we see the construction details, we can understand the copper walls are supported by the wooden columns and rafters. In the end, the copper sheet is added as the finishing layer, with its texture created by atmospheric oxidation. Let's see the site plan of the house. The house is placed on the flat land of the site, with the entrance at one end. Using the site topography, Bijoy added various lotus ponds. constructed by laying natural stone while entering the house one side has a car parking and the other side has the house entrance careful site integration was done based on the maximum open space available for the house not a single tree was harmed during the construction the house used courtyard planning with the multiple entrances one entrance leads to the water pool area a stone boundary wall defines the boundary of the house and the house is open from the river side emphasizing the view of the water The well is located on the other end of the house is constructed with the brick sourced locally the plinth uses soil from the well covered with black stone available near the site the house has two blocks connected through the courtyard with a common copper roof here the material used are a copper roof a wooden jalis and a concrete wall let's see the plan of the house the house has two major blocks bijoy's architecture always features a courtyard arrangement of the blocks and these blocks connected by the roof Here Bijoy first placed the independent rooms in the house and then connected them with the roof creating a courtyard in the middle Bijoy added various closed and open spaces to the house the family area of the house are semi open and have a view of the surrounding the simple rectangular geometry makes the house effective on the site Bijoy's architecture is always very simple but very efficient he never uses complex geometry in the planning of the house his approach is direct and fulfills the client need The entrance of the house is direct leading the user into the courtyard. Let's see the detailed plan of the house. One side of the house has a formal living area for meetings and welcoming guests, whereas the other side has the kitchen and dining area. The kitchen has a view of the main entrance which is a typical feature of Indian houses so the lady of the house can always see the main entrance. The kitchen is connected to the dining area which has a view of the courtyard on one side and the outside landscape view on the other side. The bedrooms are placed on the other end of the house and are connected to the common family area which is semi open with the view of the landscape and cross ventilations are provided into this area. 
the house has minimal furniture that can be easily moved bijoy maximizes views and the natural light in the house with the courtyard at the center the house has two independent staircases leading to the upper floor where there are two bedrooms one master bedroom and one children bedroom as well as a study area Bijoy's architecture always focuses on the details of the construction, emphasizing the importance of craftsmanship. Every detail of the house is carefully considered, from window details to water catchment area to staircase details. If we see the section of the house, we can understand these details in a better situation. The ground floor has two feet plinth made from the soil excavated from the water well. The house has two floors. The lower floor is private, whereas the upper floor is personal to the owner. The center of the house has a courtyard and the roof is pitched and the house offers maximum view of the outside landscape. The detail section shows the pitched roof sloping into the courtyard with water falling from the roof into the courtyard. The upper floor is covered with the copper sheet. Natural light enters the house and cross ventilation provided passive cooling. Wooden jalis offers privacy and natural light and black stone paving is used in the courtyard. Now the question is how we can implement these principles into our design or maybe in the context of Indian architecture. The first important principle is the use of courtyard which enhances the inner environment of the house. The rooms are arranged in a circular pattern around the courtyard. The second major principle is the climate consideration. Climate always plays a crucial role in designing in the Indian context. The use of sun, water and air makes the house magical. The third principle is the use of materials. Bijoy always uses locally available material and local craftsmen incorporating traditional vernacular practices. The sloping roof and wooden structure makes the house unique and sustainable. This is the true Indian house and Bijoy Jain is the master of building it. We can also implement these principles into our design and make architecture more beautiful and elegant. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more such videos. If you made any mistake during these videos, you can comment down below. We will definitely improve our mistakes. And you can also tell us how we can make these videos more effective. And we definitely need your support. Please subscribe to the channel for more such videos. Share these videos with your friends as well. These, these kind of videos takes lots of hard work and effort. See you in the next video. Till then keep learning, keep hustling, keep smiling. Salute.